alien-like creatures that inhabit these depths, such as the fangtooth, anglerfish, and viperfish. I don't like any of those. The ocean is way deeper than you think. I hope you are not afraid of the ocean. I'm a little afraid of the ocean. Maybe I shouldn't be watching this video. Anyway, let's go. The ocean is really, really deep. Deeper, in fact, than most of us realize. Awesome. If you were to shave off all of the land from the tops of every continent and island in the world and fill up the ocean's deepest points with that land, then the uh -huh. entire Earth would be covered in an ocean two miles deep. Bro. So there's not even enough land to, to fill up the ocean? Bro, we're cooked. If there's ever, like, a land versus water battle, we lose. Three-fourths of our planet is already covered in water, though, and it goes a mm. lot deeper than just two miles. Let's start with a sense of scale. This dot right here is the size of an elephant. That's me! Human. This slightly larger dot oh. is the size of an elephant. And this oh. is the size of the largest Oh my ship ever god! Built, the Noc Nevis. With that in mind, let's start going underwater and see what we find out. Awesome. The first milestone is at 40 meters below the surface, which is the maximum depth allowed for recreational scuba diving. Bro, we're only allowed to go down that far? That's nothing. We haven't seen anything. Bro, that's like, oh, you can put your toes in the pool, but you can't go diving. Like, you can't jump in the pool. Just your little tippy toe is like, bro. A little further down at 93 meters is where the wreck of the Lusitania was discovered, which the is what? interesting because the Lusitania itself is 240 meters. Meters what is long, the Lusitania? Which means that it sank in water shallower than it is long. So if the ship was standing on its stern or bow, Bro, it would be sticking out of the water. That's Just crazy. Than that, at 100 meters is where diving can become seriously fatal if you're not mm. careful because of decompression sickness. But that I didn't see. stop a man named Herbert Nitsch to accomplish the free diving world record at a depth of 214 meters. Holy! I mean, he looks like a Chad. I'm not surprised he went 214 meters down. This guy swam down to the level with just one single breath. But Bro. a little further down at 332 meters, we have the scuba diving world record, which was oh. accomplished by another man named Ahmed Gaber. Bro, they both look like Jazz. Look at that guy. I understand why he went all the way down there too. If he had swam down another 111 meters, then he would have reached the height of the Empire State Building Yo. if it was submerged underwater. What? And further than that, at 500 meters below the surface, we arrive at the maximum dive depth of blue whales. How's there anything else past where the whales are? Aren't the whales like the creature, the, the, the biggest creature ever? The largest creatures on the planet and also the limit of the U.S. Seawolf class nuclear submarine. Ooh. At 535, Five meters, we can witness the maximum dive depth of Emperor Penguins. And penguins! this really must bring up the intensity of water pressure. At this mm. level below the surface, the water pressure exerted on a person or the penguins would be roughly equivalent to a polar bear standing on a quarter. So Bro. further down the depths at 830 meters would Wait, we just went we just went so far. Polar How did we go so far? So further we, down we just we just went from five hundred to eight hundred and thirty meters would be the height of the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, the tallest oh. building in the world. Oh. Once we hit one thousand meters below the surface, we begin to enter the scary zone. The oh, scary zone? I don't like that it's called that. Do they not pick a different name? Does it have to be called the scary zone? Light from the surface can no longer reach beyond oh. this point, so the rest of the ocean below is shrouded in permanent darkness. Awesome. On top of that, the water pressure you would experience at this point would be about the same as if you were standing on the surface of the planet Venus, meaning oh. that you would die very quickly. Awesome. The scary zone isn't that scary because I can't go there. So I never have to face the horrors of the scary zone. It just exists, but I, I just don't think about it. And then everything's okay. You would also meet the giant squid at this sea level if the oh. water pressure didn't already kill you. Uh. At 1,280 meters, we reach the maximum depth dived to turtle. by the leatherback sea turtle. And further down at 1,000... Wait, how do we have footage of this turtle down there? I'm assuming this is not at 1,200 meters for us to be able to film it. Meters, we reach the Maybe it is. Dived to by the leatherback sea turtle. There's light, though. And further down at 1,828 meters, we would reach the deepest part of the Grand Canyon were it to be underwater Bro. with us. Down at 2,000 meters, we start to encounter some of the more terrifying sea creatures, like mm. the ominously named Black Dragonfish. The black dra- is it that? It's just a freaking circle floating around? A carnivorous beast with a stomach that doesn't allow light to be emitted through it. What? Meaning, since we're in total darkness underwater at this point, the only way you would ever see this thing is with a ah! flashlight. 
Don't show me that thing ever again. Do not ever shine a light on that thing ever again. Keep it in the darkness and keep me away from it. That is disgusting. That is ugly. A little further down at 2,250 meters, we would reach mm -hmm. the maximum depth dived to by both sperm whales and the very frightening colossal squid. Ah! Sperm whales often have sucker marks and scars left on their bodies Bro. from battles with a colossal squid that likely take place at these incredible depths. These are whales are fighting for their life against this giant squid in complete darkness that's not fair bro free the whales they do not deserve to go through that the squids themselves can grow to be 14 meters long and weigh up to 750 kilograms with eyes the size of a what? dinner plate and razor sharp sickles in the middle Ew. of their tentacles so yeah good luck with that down there way further down at 3,800 meters we can find the wreck of the rms titanic and a Bro, the Titanic is all the way down there? That's where they were going in the submarine? How are they gonna get down 3,800 meters? Of course it blew up. Come on! Further down at 3,800 meters, we can find the wreck of the RMS Titanic. And a bit past that, at 4,000 meters, we start to enter the abyssal zone of the ocean. Ah. Uh. That's that's how you know it's good. It's called the abyssal zone where you're in the abyss and you can never come back. Why do they give just, you know, the most amazing, comforting sunshine and rainbows names to everything in the ocean that is definitely not scary and not going to kill you? Water pressure is at an astonishing 11,000 pounds per square inch. I don't know here, what that means. And there are numerous strange, almost alien-like creatures that inhabit these depths, such as the fang tooth, fish, and viper fish. I don't like any of those. Why do they all look so ugly? They all look like they're related, but like in the Sweet Home Alabama way. Down at 4,267 meters is the average depth of the ocean where you would normally Holy. expect to hit the floor, but there are parts of the ocean that go significantly deeper than even this. At 4,791 meters rests the wreckage of the battleship Bismarck sunk during Yo. World War II, and way down at 6,000 meters is 6, the beginning of the Hadal Zone, named the Hadal Zone. after the underworld Hades itself. Bro, why are we naming things in the ocean after the underworld? Like, we're not even trying to make it seem nice and fun. It's named after where people burn to death. The water pressure down at these depths can become 1,100 times what you would experience Holy. way back on top of the surface, which is roughly equal to an elephant balancing on a postage stamp Bro. or a single person carrying the weight of 50 Boeing Bro. 747 jumbo jets. I can't down do that. Down at these depths, you would be crushed immediately without any outside protection. But awesome. life still exists down here in various strange forms. At 6,500 meters, we reach the maximum depth that the DSV Alvin can dive to, a popular research submarine that help to discover the titanic bro we just have this little this little submarine but i mean i guess if it can go 6500 meters it's kind of built different right way further down at 8848 8, below the surface and we have arrived at the height of mount everest were it to be upside bro. down and placed underwater we can put mount everest in the ocean and we're still not out of ocean i don't like this anymore i can't even get to the top of mount everest how am i supposed to get to the bottom and then way further past even that at 10898 meters we arrive at the depth reached by james cameron in 2012 during the deep sea challenger mission bro. the deepest point in the ocean yet reached by humans was back in 1960 though when two men named 1960 how did they do it in 1960 we didn't have that crazy tech then the deepest point in the ocean yet reached by humans was back in 1960 though when two men named don walsh and jacques picard reached a depth of 10,916 meters using Holy. their trieste submarine it took them five hours to descend through the ocean to this depth and they only stayed for 20 minutes before a window cracked and they began oh. to resurface how did it crack and they're still alive? Did they die? How does your window crack and you're like, oh, maybe we should go up instead of being like, oh, we're just dead. What's the point anymore? <laughs> Just a bit further down from there at 10,972 meters and we reach the average flight altitude of a commercial Bro. airliner. So if you've ever looked out of a window while on a flight and looked down to the ground, that's a very good sense of how incredibly deep down mm. into the abyss that we are currently at. Awesome. Finally, when we hit 10,994 meters, we have hit the bottom of the known ocean <gasps> called the Challenger Deep, right here on this map just about 300 kilometers southwest of Guam Island. However, Wom? it is believed that there are almost certainly even deeper parts of the ocean than this that just Bro. haven't been discovered yet. 
There's gotta be, right? Because we haven't been able to check every part of the ocean ever. How do you even check how deep it is? That must be so hard. Like, you gotta be sending things down or do some kind of scan? How much deeper can it go, though? It wasn't until 1997, after all, that the Serena Deep was discovered with a depth of 10,732 meters, making it the second deepest known point in the ocean. Wow. It is estimated that only about 5% of the ocean's floor has been what? Mapped, leaving the other 95% to be currently a mystery. History. It Bro. may be only a matter of time before an even deeper part of our ocean is found, and who knows what we may discover there. The freaking Kraken, the Loch Ness Monster, every terrible creature ever. All of the spooky, terrible creatures that they've ever made. How are they coming up with that things if it's not real? There had to be some inspiration. That's so scary. Oh my god. Subscribe!